My trip to Iraq started in Dubai, flying Iraqi Airways in first class, which was quite a fun experience, followed by two days exploring the beautiful city of Baghdad, which had been on my bucket list for many, many years. But in today's video, it's time to finally leave this wonderful country and fly Iraq's second largest airline, Fly Baghdad. That is really, really nice here. Guys, beautiful good morning from Baghdad and today I'll be flying the second largest airline of Iraq. Fly Baghdad all the way to Istanbul. But for now, let's go to the airport and it's very early in the morning, hence the sunglasses. <laughs> let's go. So I arranged an airport drop-off at 5.30. I am and the guy is still not here. So yeah, I hope he's gonna show up. So the driver is 40 minutes late, called me, said he's here while there is nobody here. I mean you guys witnessed that as well, there's no <laughs> car here. Ah Jesus. Morning. I make cooking 5.30. Despite being an hour late, the driver decided to give everything he had, reaching speeds of 150 km per hour, setting a new world record by only needing 10 minutes from the city to the airport, breaking every traffic rule possible. There you go. <laughs> awesome. I go this way, hey? Hi, Shukran, eh? So lots of security checks, but I finally made it. So here we are, welcome to Baghdad International Airport. It looks pretty beautiful, as you can see. Lots of security checks to get in here, uh, but that's probably understandable. And today we are off to Istanbul on Fly Baghdad. Um, it was a wonderful trip. Go check out all my uh, Iraq vlog and, uh, and 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 stuff. It was a wonderful time here. It's very different than it's uh, showing on the media. So I did have a beautiful time here. So thank you everyone here in Iraq for making my time here so memorable. So I've checked in, everything was lovely and I could almost cry by how nice everyone is here. Uh, there's a lot of Czechs but people are so lovely. The one guy was even fluent in German. I know my PCR test they screwed up my gender. It was female and um, we made a few jokes about it. It was really, really lovely. It's such a good feeling, you know, and kindness is all around. It just makes your day and everything so much better and the impression I have and I'd be taking home with me is priceless. You know, I'll be telling the world how much I loved Iraq and how grateful I am for the incredible hospitality that I've received here. Also, they gave me one A. Usually, you know guys how I sit in the back so I can film the whole cabin during boarding so you get an idea what it looks like. But they changed it to 1A and I was not going to argue because they might get it wrong if I say no, 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 I want to sit in the back. So I accepted that. Uh, let me take you around a little bit here at the, the airport. It's very small, but also very nice. So let's do it. There's even a lounge here if you want. Ishta, Ishta VIP lounge. Looks very official. Red carpet, flag. Very nice. I like it. So you're boarding, bus boarding, I was told. Exciting.
Busboarding usually comes with a nice tour of the airport, and this time it was no different. The airport was originally opened in 1982 as Saddam International, bearing the name of the then president Saddam Hussein. It can handle roughly 10 million passengers a year and serves as the main hub of Fly Baghdad as well as Iraqi Airways. It was also beautiful to get a closer look at the Iraqi 747, one of the last remaining airlines in the world to operate this kind of plane. So here we are, welcome on board the CRJ200. Um, the fleet of Fly Baghdad pretty much consists of two 737-700s, one 737-800 and the CRJ200, which was originally delivered to Air Nostrum uh, 15 years ago. And it's going to take us to Istanbul now. Three hours on a CRJ, it's usually not something. <laughs> anyone prepares but those CRJ 200s are very popular like uh, in the US for example uh, to fly and surf uh, shorter uh, smaller smaller airports but yes you saw I saw two 747s of Iraqi Airways such a treat it's amazing to see those birds I think this DHL plane there over there is the one that was shot down uh, 2003 yeah but it's a 2-2 configuration I have seat 1A so this is the legroom situation right here which is very decent and um, yeah there's gonna be a meal um, crew gave me a very very lovely welcome and now let's enjoy climbing out of Baghdad International Airport I also believe that this is probably the first ever review of flight Baghdad on YouTube My time from Baghdad to Istanbul is roughly around 3 hours and I paid 208 US dollars including a 25 kilogram baggage allowance. It's a daily flight and alternatively you can fly with Turkish Airlines, Pegasus or Iraqi Airways. So, and we are 20 minutes into the flight and I will, they dished up quite a feast here. I don't even know how I'm supposed to finish all this. Look at all the food here. <laughs> a very, very comprehensive meal here. Um, I don't even know where to start. And to be honest, I'm not even that hungry yet. Uh, but yeah, the crew is incredible. They're like super nice. They're just, uh, yeah making sure that I have a very very good time here but look at this oh, this is so much food I don't even know where to begin and so many vegetables now I definitely have to eat my vegetables otherwise I'll be in big troubles if I compare this meal to the boring lunchbox I had on Iraqi Airways, then Fly Baghdad definitely offers the better catering, even though they for sure served an extra portion since I'm a foreign guest. One more bite, I'll probably pass out, I'll be paralyzed. Uh, my apologies, but I can't. So now after this very filling and uh, very lovely breakfast uh, now it's time for chai and uh, also they brought me a very nice dessert looks very lovely going to try this as well so we're going to see who's going to win the dessert of the year award so the winner in 2019 was South African Airways with the best cheesecake ever 
last year in 2020 it was a smart wings with this beautiful vanilla roll or whatever that was and uh, you have to find some contenders for the dessert of the year in 2021 we also have some really really beautiful views right now i'm not sure exactly where we are uh, might be kurdistan right now but look at this So in, in the very back, it's very loud, um, that's where the lavatory is uh, located and the lavatories on the CRJ are rather tiny as you can see, um, but uh, that's what it looks like. It looks clean, you have sanitizer, you have soap. Um, funny story, on Air Sial, the Pakistani uh, airline, the new airline in Pakistan, I touched the soap, right? And the company who is providing the soap for the airline took a screenshot of my video where I was holding the soap and they turned me into a poster boy. I'm gonna show you the post right there. So they just made me uh, a brand ambassador of their soap, which I've never endorsed. So I'm not gonna touch this soap right now here. Otherwise, I will end up um, as a poster boy once again somewhere in Iraq. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's the Lou review. I bet it's the first ever done on fly back there. And now uh, I'm gonna go back to my seat. On my way back to my seat, I got a nice view of the CRJ200 cabin, which features 50 seats in total, making this plane the smallest commercial aircraft in all of Iraq. Had a nice chat with the crew, they're very, very lovely. Took a selfie and uh, yeah, I'd say there's probably 15 passengers on this flight, max. So yeah, very quiet, everyone is asleep and uh, been cruising. Literally no turbulences, nothing. Be arriving in uh, Sabia Gökçen, so I'll be on the other air, uh, the other airport, which is on the Asian side, taking a taxi to Istanbul Airport because tomorrow, surprise, surprise, I'll be flying Tunis Air. So let's see how this is gonna end. We then started our descent into Sabia Gökçen Airport and it also gives me the chance to summarize today's flight on Fly Baghdad. It would only be fair to compare them to Iraqi Airways, its number one competitor. In terms of food, service and cleanliness of the cabin, Fly Baghdad outdid Iraqi Airways by a lot. Especially the highly motivated crew and their performance in terms of service impressed me the most. Given the price I paid, I was more than satisfied with my flight and can strongly recommend the airline to you too. Thank you so much for watching and please consider supporting my work on Patreon. You can find the link below. It helps me to keep the channel running and to provide you with honest and unbiased feedback. Let me know what you thought of today's flight in the comment section below and wherever you're off to. Have a safe trip and thank you so much for watching.